when the coronavirus crisis first began, a lot of people started asking us if they could go to confession either over the phone or through FaceTime. And the answer was always no, because the sacraments don't work like that. Confession is a sacrament. Confession is an encounter with the grace of God. And the sacraments are the instruments by which God gives us His grace. And grace is the life of God in our souls. And so when we think of how to receive the sacraments, we have to always look at the Gospels. We look at the encounters of Jesus in the Gospels that He had with everybody, but specifically with the sinners in the Gospel. And when we're talking about the sacrament of confession, the sacrament of the forgiveness of sins, it's worth it to look at and to study very closely and to examine the actions of both Jesus and of the people who come and seek mercy from Him. The gospel for today in the Chaldean church is the story of the sinful woman in Luke chapter 7 who had an encounter, a physical encounter with Jesus Christ. She went, she wept, she was crying out of sorrow for her sins, she wiped the feet of Jesus with her hair after she had washed them with her tears and she anointed him. So this woman had a physical encounter with the Lord and then Jesus, at the end of the physical encounter, when he saw her, when he met her, and when she approached him, and when she wept bitterly for her sins, Jesus told her, at the end, your sins are forgiven. And this shows us that the sacraments, receiving God's mercy, is a physical thing because when we sin, we do something a lot of the times physical with our bodies or with our minds, with our thoughts. But it involves our human person. It involves ourselves making a decision. And so when we fall into sin, we need to do something in order to be forgiven of that sin. We need to either ask God for mercy, wherever we are, we can ask Him and God will hear us. But Jesus made it so that in order to get our sins forgiven, especially the most serious of sins, like the mortal sins, which uh, is spoken about in the letter of John in the New Testament, Jesus made it so that when we have a mortal sin, we can't just stay at our house and ask God for mercy. It doesn't work like that. We need to have a physical encounter. And that's what the sacrament of confession is. It's almost like in these days, we've been seeing a lot of people get sick. We've been hearing a lot of the protocols for the coronavirus and how they would treat people. For example, if somebody has mild symptoms, he would speak to his doctor, maybe on uh, FaceTime or Zoom, and the doctor would advise the person and If the person has very bad symptoms, a very high fever, shortness of breath, then that person would have to go to the hospital. But a lot of the times, people, if you have mild symptoms of the coronavirus, if you have mild, uh, if you have a cold or some type of sickness that's not very serious, you could stay home. But if you have something like, for example, cancer, or if you break your arm or something very serious, you have to physically go to a doctor. And so in a similar way, when we do venial sins, smaller sins, although they are wrong, we can ask God for forgiveness in different ways. But mortal sins are the sins that are forgiven only through the sacrament of confession. And I'm not a physical doctor, so don't take medical advice from me, but take spiritual advice from me the advice of the gospel, that Jesus, before he went up into heaven, after he rose from the dead, he did something so important that a lot of people, when they read the gospels, and especially when they have questions about confession, a lot of people ignore this part. Jesus, at such a crucial moment in his life on this earth, after he rose from the dead, he told his apostles, whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven them. And whose sins you retain, they are retained. So that the apostles became the instruments by which Jesus was going to forgive the sins of the world. And that's why the priests and the clergy of today's world have received by the sacred ordination, by the laying on of hands, have received that apostolic authority, which is from Jesus himself. That's why we go to confession. That's why we receive the grace of God. That's why from the earliest times, the church has described confession as going to see a doctor. You go to a doctor and you show him your wounds. And the doctor heals you. The doctor will give you medicine if it's a physical doctor. He will see what you need in order to be healed. 
With confession, Jesus is the doctor who heals the soul through the priest. And when you go to a doctor, when you go to a physical doctor, you're going to tell the doctor everything that's wrong with you, especially the worst things that are wrong with you. Now, a lot of people, when they go to confession, they leave out the worst things. They don't say the most embarrassing things. And I don't blame you if you've ever felt embarrassed in confession. I do all the time when I sin. It's, it's embarrassing to have to tell your sins to another human being. But that's the beauty of it. Because it makes you humble. Because it makes you have to lower yourself and to go to another human being and to trust not in the human being. I don't want you to trust me when you come to confession. I want you to trust the grace of Jesus working through me, working through every single priest, no matter how big of sinners we are. God's grace is bigger than us. And that's how God chose to do it. Jesus knew his apostles were sinners when he told them whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven them. But Jesus still gave them that authority. And so the authority of the forgiveness of sins is with the church, and it has to do with a physical encounter. And so this woman that we read about in the Gospels uh, for today when you went to Mass in the Chaldean Church, or if, if you don't know the story, it's in Luke chapter 7, this woman shows us how we should approach the sacrament. How when we approach the sacrament, we are approaching the mercy of God in the person of Jesus Christ and through the instrument, which is the priest. And we should go in there and we should be sorrowful for our sins. We should be willing to accept God's mercy and to change our lives. That's what the sacrament does for us. The sacrament gives us the grace to be able to change. And so if you have a sin that you are struggling with that, that you've been doing for many years, which this woman in the gospel was known for a certain sin. We don't know exactly what this woman's sin was, but what we know is she was known to be a sinful woman. She is known to have had habitual sins. And the beauty of it is that this is not her first and only encounter with the Lord. We see this woman encountering Jesus multiple times. Maybe she fell into sin even after this time. But she constantly went back to Jesus and begged him for mercy. And that's what we should do. When we know that we are weak, Jesus also knows that we are weak. Jesus also will give us the grace to overcome these sins. But when we fall, we don't stay on the floor. When we get dirty, we don't stay dirty. We go and clean ourselves, even though we know we might get dirty again. You don't not wash your car because you think you might get your car dirty again. You wash your car and... If and when it gets dirty again, you go wash it again. You take a shower so that you can be clean. And then after you get dirty again, you go back and you don't go and roll in the mud. You try your best not to get dirty. But if it happens, it happens. We're all sinners. We all fall. We will try not to fall. But if we do, because we're all weak, we go and rely on the grace of Jesus. But we don't do it in the way that we want. We do it in the way that he prescribed for us. And that's why... When we receive the sacraments, we do it in the way that He designed. And it is through the Gospels. We learn He is the doctor. We learn from Him how to be forgiven. And this woman in the Gospel teaches us how to accept the loving mercy of God and to trust in the grace that He gives us through the sacraments so that as we approach Him with open hearts, as many times as we do it, we know that in the end, His grace will win, but it can only win in us if we are willing to accept it.